Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to start due to the time because we're going to wait for the other ones uh, to the class. And Ronald is saying that uh, he's going. He just only going to be listening because he's at work. Okay, I am. He's understood all of that. And some others uh, send me messages. Tell me that they have. Uh, uh, Technical problem, and Armando, and I don't remember the no, the other name. They told me that they were at work. That's why they're going to have their camera off, and that is understandable, right? Because you 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 are doing a great effort trying to be uh, connected during the class, even if you are at work. But uh, putting your camera off. Uh, it's understandable because you're not going to be like in this way at work. Uh, uh, teacher, uh, and from here to there. No, it is understandable when you have your camera. But, uh, but the thing is that you have to tell me that why you have your camera off. Okay, let's go to share the screen. Here we have, um, okay, let's see what we have here. What we have here, guys. Okay, guys, well, well, guys, today we're going to work with the present continuum. How many of you have heard about the present continuum? Or in other words, el presente continuo. How many of you have heard about that? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Es lo que se está haciendo right now. En el instante. En el instante. That is taking place in, the, in that moment, right? And the action is in progress. In, like in other words, we can say. Okay, here we have a simple structure, right? About the present continue. You might say, hey teacher, why we have the question here? Why we have the use of the verb to be for here? And why we have this? Okay, don't worry for that. We're going to work in all of that. If you remember in the whole structure, we always can use the for the verb to be which one are there? The most uses are, uh, are is, and are, in order to make questions using the 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 verb to be, like you see, like you see here, right? Always goes in the beginning, and then are followed by the subject, and the verb in the ing four. Why we use ing four? Because we are talking present continuous. The verb always is going to appear in the ing form to express an, an a continuous action, right? Here we have a question. You see the form of the verb to be in Armando. And here we have the first one. Are you living at home now? How can we call this one, guy? Did you remember that we were calling how how I call this one? Sure. How Short can we answer. call? Short answers. Short answer. Okay. Thank you. And said, yes, I am. And in the affirmative way, and in a negative form, we have no, I not. No, I know. Here we have another uh, question. Is your sister working for the government? We had the question mark right here. Remember that at the end of the statement or the end of the sentence. Uh, yes, she is the affirmative form and the negative form. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Here we have the plural. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Why we use R in this case? Why we use R? If you see here, we have you, the form you, because it is a plural. But in this case, we are talking about 
two different people, right? We're talking about L and Jill. And said, are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they no, they are no, they're not. And no, they aren't. Remember that we can make a contraction from subject and the verb or the or the verb with the negative form, right? No, she's not, or no, she isn't. In this case, they are not, no, they are. And we have the double question. Remember that we were talking about them, where, what, who, where, where are you working now? I'm not working, I need a job. If you see the question, we have the double question at the beginning of the sentence, we have it right here. Then it followed by the verb to be. After the double question, we have the subject and we have the verb that we're going to use, but always in the ing form. What about if, uh, pay attention, oh, I forgot the laser. I forgot the laser. Oh, here I have. Okay. What about if I change, here we have, here we have the, the question, right? Where are you working now? What about if we change, no, yeah, no, don't say that we change. Just we say that what about if I eliminate here the ing four and, and I only say where are you work now? That might be correct. No, no. 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 You, that one I see okay. That one, that one be. And uh, that won't be, that won't be okay, because at the uh, the force that we are working is in the ing four with the present continuous. That that's why they are calling present continuous. All of the verb is going to be appear in the ing four. Not only in the present continuous, also in the past progressive and in the future progressive, the, the, the other four that we have for the continuous form. But in this case, remember that always the bird has to go with I and G, the bird. But which bird, teacher? The bear after the social. In the case when we use those questions. We, where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They are visiting my grandmother. If you focus, guy, even at the moment to answer the double question with the present continuous form, you always going to answer in the same way, using the ing for how come? Remember that the subject, whatever of the four of the verb to be that you are using, in this case, we have am, we have are, sorry, we have am, we have is, and we have are. The three, four of the verb to be, of the verb to be. At the moment to answer, or a double question, but using the ing for or the present continuum. Subject plus verb to be, whatever that is going to be needed according to the subject that you are using. Then the affirmative or the negative for, and then the verb with their corresponding for in ing. You are not going to answer. I know. I not work, no, because the same structure is giving you guys a key to answer those questions. Remember all with that. If somebody is asking me, it's like, it, that's me like if you say, cuando les pregunto algo en español, y ustedes me contestan en inglés. O sea, las dos cosas tienen que ir en concordancia. English is the same. You have the same structure, Whatever might be the structure, present continuous, simple present, past tense, and the same 
the same instruction is going to be used at the moment to answer whatever question that we are talking or referring to the structure that we are working with. That's going to be the key, using the first question and also asking a question with the with the form of the verb to be as, as auxiliary, right? I don't know if somebody has a doubt or a question about this. Preguntas? Guys? Sobre la última teacher. Sobre la última pregunta. This one. Who are your parents visiting this week? Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué pasaría si este ar lo, lo ponemos antes del visiting? ¿Se puede? No. Who, who your parents are visiting this week? No. Why, Nelson? Using double, double question with the present continuous, always, 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 after the double question, you're going to use the for the verb to be. Uh -huh. Always, always. After that, you're going to use your subject according to what you are talking about. And then go the verb in the ing form. Always going to be in that way. Never, never to never going to be changing. Always has to keep the same order. El mismo orden, siempre. Double question. Verb to be your subject, and then your verb in the ing for plus the complement that you are going to use. Remember okay. that. Okay, thank you. So, you're welcome, Nelson. Okay, let's move to our next slide. To see, please. Oh yeah, this, <laughs> this is our next slide. Okay, guys, here we have Complete this phone conversation. You see the presence continues. Phone conversation. Hello, guy. How are you? Ah. <laughs> Who's answering the other side? <laughs> okay. You see, we have different images that are representing yeah, the different short dialogues or the different uh, short sentences that we have right here. We have a man taking a rest or a nap. Uh, a woman, I think this is an elevator, but all of them have something in common. They are talking or using their phones, all of them. Okay, here we have <clears throat> the, the first except the first exercise. It said, hi, Stephanie, what? How can we fill this empty space, guys, using the present continuum? What are, are, are you doing. 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 doing? doing. Nelson, if you see, you see, right? What are the verb to be you, the subject, and after that, the verb in the ing form? The ing for of do is going to be doing, doing. Remember that, Nels. Remember that. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the section B. Hey, Mark. I am. Um, am. Studying. Standing. 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 Uh -huh, standing. standing in mm -hmm. an elevator and is stuck. Is stuck. It's a stock. Okay. Let's move to the other one. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I wait. It. It is. It is. is. It is. It is. Moving. 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 It is. It is moving now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's move to the next one. That's it. Marcy, how are you? How are you? How are you? And Justin. And Justin. Uh -huh. Enjoying. 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 Shopping. 
shopping property. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. shopping tree. Mm -hmm. uh, if you mm -hmm. see, guys, the even the even the subject, uh, sorry, even the verb in the ID four can go a little bit further. Puede estar un poquito más allácito, verdad? Después del sujeto que de los cuales estamos utilizando. En este caso estamos utilizando dos, verdad? What you seen too? You and Justin. Well, if you pay attention, both of them are subject. And what the rule say? After the subject goes the verb in ing four. Easy. A piece of cake. <laughs> okay. Here we have the section B. We and we have here our verb. We are. We, we are. Having, we are. Having, we are having a lot of fun. We are yeah. having having a lot of fun. Uh -huh. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay, thank you. We're having a lot of fun. What about here? Is is your brother? Mm -hmm. No, pay attention. Your brother and uh -huh. the pay. We have the bird. A lot of money. Remember the another way to use is your what, brother. Is your brother? Uh huh. Spend, spending. 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 A lot of money. A, a lot of money. A lot of money. Remember, guys. Always we can use the verb to be for at the beginning of the sentence has a question. Which one are there? Uh, am, are, and is. But the most uses only the 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 two that we use always uh, are and is. Are the two famous ones? You see, is your brother spending a lot of money? What about the section? The section B. No more. He. Is buying. Is buying. 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 Bu do you see uh, working with those with this kind of structure is hard or not? How do you consider the use of this structure? It's like a from one to ten. Easy or not easy? <laughs> easy. easy. Yeah, it's, it's kind of easy. What we have to do in order to understand a little bit more, not only this structure, all the structure, we have to improve our vocabulary, increase the vocabulary, the verbs, and keeping in our mind how all the structure works, because never we are going to mix the present, the present continuous with. We are not a structure. If we only are using present continue, that's the only one that we're going to use. Don't we are going to mix with another one because you can mix to a structure, but those cases are, are are very hard to understand because you have to keep a, a very focused on what you are doing because you you must know properly how both structure works. Because if you don't know properly, you might or you might get uh, confused a lot, and you won't know what to do. But in this case, if you see the, the structure, you have the double question. We have the verb to be for your subject, and you have your very ng for what? What is going to come to your mind? Ah, okay. Wilfredo is sharing one. Present, continue, double question, plus B, plus subject, plus verb, in ING, plus complement. You see? And we have another four. 
to make a question. The B4, the subject, the verb in the ING4, and plus the complement. And plus the complement. And plus the complement. And plus the, I don't know why I have problem. I don't know why I'm having problem with, with the with the chat, guys. Let me see. I don't know why I'm having problem. Okay. Everything is clear until until now. Todo está claro con, con los ejercicios, chico. Yes, teacher. Yes. I'll, uh, any other question that maybe comes to your mind or something that was not clear at all for you? Don't worry for that. You can answer and that that's no problem. That won't be a problem. Don't worry for that, guys. Okay, everything is clear. <laughs> okay, here we have... Okay, guys, here we have discussion. Is anyone, anyone ask your classmate about people in their family? What are they doing now? Ask follow up question to get more information. Here we have a topic to ask about. What are the topics that we're going to use about traveling, living abroad? What does this mean, guys? Living abroad, living away from home, right? That means living abroad. When you don't live in, in the same country or you don't live in the same department. When you live far away from home. What about another one? Taking a class. The thing that we are going, that we are doing now. What about the, the other one? Going to high school or college. Moving to a new home. Moving to a new home. Oh, that might be great. Moving to a new home. <laughs> okay. Studying a foreign language. The last one is the is the thing that you are doing. That is what you are doing. Studying a foreign language. Or studying a second language. Because your first language is Spanish. The second language is English. That is the second one that you are learning. Because... Always the first language is your mother tongue. What does it mean, mother tongue? Su lengua natal. That is the mother tongue, your first language. Su lengua natal. The second language is the one that you are learning. Okay. Here we have a little example has the one that we can use in order to, to work in, the, in this part. He said, is anyone in your family traveling right now? Yes, my dad is in, my, my dad is, he's in Korea. What he doing there? Did you see we had the contraction with what and is, what he doing there? Uh, okay, in this case, I'm going to ask to some of you and you are going to answer me. We can use the same, the same format that we have right here. Okay, and I think Marie, who is going to help me? Let's go to see. Miguel Angel, hello. You 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 didn't participate the, the, the last class. Hello, Miguel, how are you? Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, Miguel, how are you, Miguel? You're I'm great, fine, Miguel? teacher. Okay, I'm fine. Miguel. Okay, okay, Miguel. Miguel, you were paying attention about what we were talking about. Estaba escuchando lo que decía, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, yes. But, okay. Miguel, I'm going to ask you something and you are going to ask me whatever the way you want or if you have problem, you can tell me. Okay. Uh, is anyone in your family traveling right now? Yes or uh, no? No. 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 No, I no. don't have no, I don't have nobody. Que usted no tiene a nadie que, que te está viajando en estos momentos, ¿verdad? Okay, thank you. 
Floricia Mengíbar, hello. Hola, Flor. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Flor. Uh, well, Flor, here we have the possible topic. We're going to use... Uh, uh, we're going to use... Uh, uh, this one. Uh, Flor, uh, are you going to high school or college? Yeah. If you said that you are not going, you are only going to say, no, I'm not. And no, that... no, no, I'm not. Ah, uh, okay. I have to, I'm home. You are working. Do you work, right? Yes. Usted trabaja. Um, así no escucho, teacher. Me ahora cortado. Ahora. Me escucha, me escucha bien o solo es usted. Uh -huh. A veces se escucha entrecortado, pero es que en algunas zonas está lloviendo y en otras hay mucho viento, teacher. Probablemente. Sí. Como que... Aquí quiere empezar a llover, entonces por eso. Oh, Hasta me sacó otra. de la clase un ratito. Oh, sí, sí, eso, eso podría afectarnos bastante. El, el clima no, no, no juega en contra en ocasiones. Uh -huh. ah, este, igual, eh, what, eh, ah, eh, ¿quiere ver la pregunta? No la escuché, dijo. Ok. Do you work or, or, are, or, do you, or are you studying? Uh, I work um, in at, your at study. home. Ah, you work at home. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. That that yes. that is that is also uh, uh, a work. <laughs> yes. Okay. What about uh, Elsa? You didn't participate yesterday. Hello. Hello, Elsa. How are you, Elsa? Fine. Okay, Elsa. Okay, Elsa. Uh, Elsa, who is in your family living abroad? Who uh, my is... father. Oh, your father. My father is my living, father is living abroad. abroad. My father is living abroad. Abroad. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hello, Daniela. Hello over there. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Daniela. I'm going to ask you something easy mm -hmm. and something familiar with the class. Are you studying a foreign language? Yes, I take taking yes. a class. Yes, I am studying a foreign language. Yes, I am studying a foreign language. That might be the long answer, but the short answer might be, yes, I am. That's it. Okay. Record, recordemos que tenemos dos formas de contestar. Short answer and long answer. Hello. Right. So, who was, who was talking? No, teacher. Es que aquí estaban hablando. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. We have... The those two options. We have the short way and we have the long way to answer. Try to <clears throat> try to keep in mind that always, guys. Okay, Blanca Stephanie. Hello, Blanca. Hello, teacher. Hello, Blanca. How are you, Blanca? Very good. Okay, Blanca. I'm going to ask you something. We are we are we always we're going to use those topics that we have right here. Eh, Blanquita, mm, who is in your family living abroad? Who is mm, in your family no. living abroad? No. Nobody. Nobody. 
Oh, Armando is asking what is oh. uh, uh, okay, thank you, Diana, for 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 answer to Armando. Abroad me extranjero. Nobody said nobody, right? Okay, who is going to be Aníbal? Help me. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Aníbal. Hello. Aníbal. Aníbal, uh, okay, I'm going to make this question for you. Uh, are you taking class? Are you taking a class? Are you taking a class at night? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and who, who, who else? Por el por el por el Alicia Hello Jocelyn 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 hello What happened with Jocelyn Jocelyn I don't know what's happening with her. Okay, we're going to choose uh, Maria Wendy. Do you hear me well? I see the majority having some problem with the with the internet, right? Okay, we're going to do it. Diana, you appear again. <laughs> Hello, Diana. You're going to help me with this. Hello, okay. teacher. Hello. Yes, tell me. Okay, Diana. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 Diana. What are we going to do with you? Diana, are you studying a foreign language? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, you are. Who else? Let me see. Right here, from Team Marine, the Dust Point Way. Don Jaime. Hello, Don Jaime. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Jaime? Fine, thank you. Fine, fine. You're great, huh, Don Jaime. Okay, thank you. Don Jaime, are you studying a foreign language? Uh, yes. Yes? I yes. am. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Okay, Nelson Rutilio. Hello, teacher. Oh, Nelson, are you moving to a new home? Mm. Let me see. Mm. No, I know. No, I know. Okay, thank you. Now. Thank you. No, I know. Okay, let's going to move. Ana Graciela Ramos, you're going to be the last one. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ana Graciela. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Okay, Ana Graciela. Pay attention to the question. Pa, 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 pa. Are you studying a, a foreign language? I don't know. <laughs> You don't understand me? Eh, ¿Me entiende la pregunta? Que si estoy estudiando lenguaje, el lengua. Un, 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 un idioma extranjero. Un idioma extranjero. Uh -huh. are, are you studying a foreign language? Yes, I am. No, I am. Foreign, ¿qué es foreign? Foreign language is un idioma extranjero. Foreign. Es, 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 foreign. No. Solamente foreign es extranjero. Foreign. Un, extra, un extranjero. But in this case, foreign language es un idioma extranjero. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Lengua. Uh -huh. You can answer Lengua me. Es idioma. Language. Uh, idioma. Y... El lenguaje, ¿cuál? No, no. 
No, no, no. In, in this context, not apply lenguaje. Language means idioma. Idioma. Si usted lo traduce, esa palabra no le va a decir lenguaje, porque el lenguaje directamente en el contexto que la estamos utilizando le va a salir como idioma, porque está en una zona de preguntas, no le va a decir. Eh, un, un lenguaje uh -huh. extranjero uh -huh. es bien raro que se use. Eh, pero más que todo, cuando quiere ejercer... Cuando quiere ser bien específico en, en lo que está hablando, en este caso lo, se usa idioma. Uh -huh. No sé si le quedó un poco claro ahí. Sí. Ah, está vale. lloviendo fuerte. Por casi no le... Ah, ok, ok. Sí, Ok, es, es entendible entonces, no se preocupen por ello. El clima ahorita, pues no, lastimosamente en unas partes está peor que en otras, pero aquí al menos ya dejó de llover y eso fue lo que nos ayudó un poco. Ok, let's move to our next slide. Ok, guys. Here we have typical families. What does mean typical families in Spanish? What does mean typical families? Ajá, uh -huh, guys. Familia común o algo así. Uh -huh. Familias comunes o las familias típicas, como las podríamos decir nosotros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Típicas familias. Here we have three different charts. Here we have uh, in the home, uh, the working family, and we have the, the marriage. Here we have facts about the United States. The, remember, because it is English, we are just focused in the U.S., in the United States. Here we have some facts. Fact, what it means facts? Son hechos. That is mean facts, hechos. Okay, here we have facts about the United States, facts about your country. Mm, okay, in the US, in the home, 41% of homes have three or more television. A 63% of family or Almost always eat dinner together. What about the working family? 55% of mother with young children work. 78% of high school students have jobs. What about in the case of a, of a marriage? 70, 70, 70, 75% of adults between the age of 18 and 35 married, 27, 27% of adults between the ages of 18 and 34 live with their parents. Oh, this is something very peculiar in the US. Even you are older, you always live with your parents because the rent, the payments eh, are very expensive if you live at home, if you live alone at home or in an apartment. That's why the majority of the people, they decide to still living with their parents to spend a little bit, uh, to mm, it is better say to say, to save money, to save money, right? Because when you have your own home, you always going to spend more and more, more money. Okay, guys, we, let's say, you have what the, oh, okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, guys, those facts are referred to the United States. What about here in our country? What about here? Facts about your country. All have three or more television. <clears throat> guys, which percent do you consider apply with this part here? All home have three or more television. What will be the percentage of homes that might have three or more television here in El Salvador? 25%. Maybe 20. No. 50%. Yeah, maybe a 50%. 50 or 60 because the majority of the homes, they have two, they have two or three television. In my case, uh, I have two. One, one is small and the another one is bigger. 
And in the case in my mom's house, she she has three. One in the living room, the another one is in her bedroom, and the other one is in the guest bedroom. Uh, she has three. Yeah. Okay, that, that's why we say that 50 or 60% of home have three or more television here in our country. What about uh, what about the percentage of family almost always eat dinner together? What is the percentage? Mm -hmm. El porcentaje de familias que cenan juntas aquí en nuestro país. Mm -hmm. What might be that? Uh -huh. Maybe thirty percent. Thirty percent, yeah, maybe one a uh, thirty percent or a, or forty percent, because not all the Salvadoran families eat dinner together. If you see even you at home, you may be the one who have kids. Uh, you are in the hamaca. The another one is in the living room. The other one is in his or her bedroom. The another one is, I don't know, but you are spread all over your house. It is very weird that at home, we uh, we as a family use the uh, dinner table to, to have dinner. It's very, very weird here in our country. Dinner, uh, the lunch or, or breakfast is very weird. It's very, but very weird in those cases. Yeah, that, that's the typical uh, Salvadorian family. You never spend time with the whole family eating at the same table. You always are, are spread at home. And that's why you are always uh, screaming to your children at home. Uh, don't go to let dirty your room because <laughs> I'm going to pull your hair. No, that's why uh, that's something typical in the, in, in the Salvadorian families. Okay, let's move to the another part. Uh, percentage of mother with young children. Oh, this is oof, a very high, high percentage here in our country. Which percentage do you think it might apply here in our country? 80%. Uh -uh. It is almost an, a 90 or a 90 or a 95% here in our country. Wow. Yeah, 90. No less than 90. It is more than 90 because the majority uh, of the population, in this case, the ladies, they get pregnant uh, in an early age, almost 17, 18, 19, 20. Those are not ages for raising kids. Those are races for you to go to a school or are uh, having uh, going to university and be preparing for maybe being a professional or having a better job, but not for for having kids. No, the human being, the human being, have a stage. Do you know from what age to what age? Uh, you uh, you can do whatever thing that you want. Because you are not going to start raising kids at the age of 15. No, never. Never, because that will be a big problem. That's why the percentage with mo with mother with young children are a lot here in, in El Salvador. What about the percentage of high school students have jobs? Mm, here in our countries. Um, yeah, here in your country is like a very low because he, he, he is, is making emphasis just at school, but at the university, the majority of the people, they have uh, a, a work and uh, their jobs and their studies go together, the majority. Well, in my case, when I was studying at the university, I seen the... Uh, 40 or 45 percent of my classmates they were uh, studying and they were having a job 
at that moment. Yeah, it was like a kind of high, right? Because no, not everybody uh, has the same resources or the same incomes, right? Okay. Oh, Floricia said uh, has issues with the with the camera. Okay, let's move to the other one. That is said percent of adults between the ages of eighteen and thirty-five marry. Which one do you see might be the percentage of people getting married between those ages, eighteen and thirty-five? Which might be the percentage? Sixty. Yeah, 60% 60, 60 might apply because in my case, I got married at 24 and I had a very young age, right? But that's what I want. I was having a good income at that time. Even now I have good income. I can complain about that. I can complain. And seven, 60 percent. You said right, sixty percent, sixty percent. Yeah, might be me. Might be applied here in our country. Sixty percent between the ages of eighteen and 30, 35 years get married at that age. Yes. Okay. What about the percentage of adults between the ages of eighteen and thirty-four live with their parents? Ah, I don't think in here in your country. The majority of no no hearing hearing Salvador, I don't think we have those problems. People who is married and still living with their parents. Which percentage do you consider or do you think is the right one for, for this one? Apply to our country. One hundred ninety nine sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, uh, uh, maybe eighty uh, percent. Do 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 you consider that an eighty percent of those ages live with their parents? No, maybe seventy. Yeah, because the majority of my friends they are uh, they have my age. And they don't stay with their parents. They are married or they live alone. And I think the it might be like a like a 40, 40 50 percent, right? 40 50 percent might apply. 46. 40 or 50, 50, 40 or 50. Okay. Mm -hmm, 40. I think 60 is like a very high ball. We yeah we might we might do uh like a research like a homework <laughs> we can make a a survey in in our neighborhood hey hello neighbor uh, how many adults do you live with you ah. <laughs> yeah that might be interesting uh, okay guy which facts seem like positive things. From the all of them that we have here, which facts seem like positive things? Mm -hmm. Algunos hechos de los que tengamos aquí que puedan ver como positivo. Anyone. Or you might say the only positive thing, teacher, is that the majority of the people have more than two television at home. <laughs> No, <laughs> because that 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 always is a fight at home when you only have one TV or two, because you always fight with your brother, you your or, or sometimes you can fight with your with your father or your grandma or your mother because you say no, it's my time to see the soap opera, it's my time for my TV show, it's my time for watching Netflix or whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be the the, the 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 one positive thing, right? Having more than one or two television at home, right? Okay. What are family like in your country? What are family like in your country? 
¿Cómo son las familias en nuestro país? The majority of them um, get married at those ages, right? Get married between 18 and 35. What else? We have this case. Mothers with young children at work. We have a lot of cases apply in, 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 with, with these cases. And, oh, this one. This one, uh, family always, no, nah, this never apply here. This never apply here, the, the family that, that had dinner together. <laughs> this never apply here in the country. Okay, guys, let's, let's go to move to our next slide. I think this is the last one. This is the last one. Okay, we're going to, okay. Here we have, uh, a conversation. I come from a big family. Oh, if you remember, we were talking about family the last the last slide, right? We were talking about the family, the percentage of the diversity that we have. And here we have a little conversation or a little dialogue between Mark, Mar, Marcos, and May Lee. Mainly, I, I think the, the one who read this book, they really enjoy it, they really like Korean name eh? because mainly it sounds like a Korean name. Okay, let's start. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mainly, actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. And I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Oh, he really come from a big family because they are three brothers and, and two sisters. Yeah, it is a big family. And wow, it, is that typical in Peru? No, really, a lot of family are smaller these days. But big family are great because you get a lot of birthday present. Yeah, that 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 is great, big family, because when you when it's your birthday, you receive a lot of present. And when your family is small, uh you only receive one present from the whole family. <laughs> Even a small box, that's the only thing that you receive from from, from a small family. And even here we have an interesting fact about the the May leave because uh, she said in China only have one one child. Uh, why they only have one child? Due to the increasing population that they have in China, uh, it's like uh, uh, something very. It's like a. Uh, Something that is happening in, in China, the, the increasing population is worthy. Uh, why is worthy? Because the the uh, spaces are getting small and small and small. Even in some part uh, in Asia, they have a small apartment that, that, that even they have their toilet next to the bed. That is how it is uh, distributed the apartment where they live. And next to the toilet, they have the kitchen. And I I, I think that that document appears on Discovery Channel in Korea, in some part of Korea, I think, or it is in Taiwan. I don't remember where the place, but in Asia, they have that problem with the increasing population. Asia, uh, I think it's the one of the most increasing population around the world because Indian people, they have the three, four, five, sometimes six kids. And the Philippines, they, they are the same. The other people who live in China due to this thing that the government say, uh, put like a, it was like a law, a law that said that the whole family just can have one, one child uh, due to the, the problem population that they have. Okay, guys, uh, 
I would like to participate in order to help me with this conversation, with this short dialogue. Me? Who wants to help me? Elsa, Noelia, and who else? And Aníbal, right? right. Okay, Aníbal, you you're going to, Aníbal, you're going to be Marcos, and Elsa is going to be May Lee. Okay. Okay, let's start at the count of three. One, two, three. How many brothers and sisters do you have? May, May Lee. Actually, um, an only child. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Nowadays, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Uh huh. What about you, Mar Marcos? I. Marcos. I come from a big family. I have two brothers and two sisters. I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Two sisters. Okay. Well, thank you. Wow, well, it's the typical in Peru. No, really. A lot of, no really, a lot of families uh, are small, uh -huh. small this day, but at this family at the great because, because you were a uh, lot of birthday present. A lot of birthday present. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, thank you, guys. And who are you going to be the, uh, the next one? And let me see right here. I don't know what it's there. Okay, Wilfredo, you raise your hand, right? Wilfredo and who else? In English. Okay. Wilfredo, you're going to be Marcos. In English, going to be my league. Let's, we're going to start at the count of three. One, two, three. Let's start. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Yeah, uh -huh. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Child, child, uh -huh. child. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of, of birthday presents. Birthday presents. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, guys. Remember those words nowadays, child, nowadays, nowadays, because when you read it in a faster way, nowadays, because you can say nowadays. Oh, I'm going to Diana. <laughs> okay, nowadays. Uh, well, I think it is it is time, guys. We're going to to call the we're going to call the roll. Yes, we're going to. Yes, we're going to call the roll. Just let me. Oh no! Right here. This is loading. Oh, what happened? It is loading. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah. This is mine. Okay. Wait, guys. I'm looking for the day. Today is. Okay, 24. Here we had the 24. Okay, guys. Uh, the first one, Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia. Where are you? Okay, thank you. Um, what about Anderson Jeremy? Huh? 
Anderson, I don't know why he's having issues with the with the internet. Anderson is having issues, right? Anderson is going to check right here. Anderson, Anderson. No, he 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 didn't get connect. Anderson. Okay, sorry, Anderson. Sorry, eh, Armando Antonio. Armando, oh, you, you were there. You tell me, you were uh, at work. Blanca Stephanie. Present Blanca. teacher. Thank you. Karina Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Aníbal. Present. Thank you. Daniela Alejandra. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Elsa Noelia. I'm here. Uh, Floricia Mangiva. Present teacher. Okay. Henry Alexander. Henry, you were there. I saw you. You were connected. Ingrid Meralda. <clears throat> Present teacher. Okay. Jaime Iván. You I'm were here, there. Teacher. Jocelyn Alicia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Karina Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Melda. I'm here. Okay. Maria Wendy, you were there. I'm here, uh -huh. teacher. Okay. Marisol de Los Angeles. Present teacher. You were there. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jose, Romel Jose. Mm -hmm. Romel Jose. No, he's not, he's not here. Uh, Ronald Alexander. Ronald. Present, okay. Present. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa. You were not there. Bruno and me. Present. Okay, and Wilfredo, you were there. I saw you. Okay. Okay, guys, this. Oh, shit. Oh, Armando, say, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Just two, Armando. Yeah, yeah, le pasamos ahí, la, la, la tenemos. Okay, guys, this is was all for today. I hope to see you tomorrow class. And please try to be on time. And if you have an inconvenience, please send me a, a, a message. And I will already know that you have some issue or you are still at work, right? Everything, eh, eh, all, any kind of problem that you might have, let me know. Thank you, guys. This is everything for today. I hope to see you tomorrow on time, please. Okay, guys. Bye-bye and have a good night. Take bye -bye. care. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow.